Right, hello everyone. Uh, we're going to be making a correlation spreadsheet between Sunleaf area and Sunleaf Fresh Wing. This is my third, maybe fourth video of doing this. I don't know, I keep messing it up. I'm pretty sure I know what I'm doing now. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is you're going to be making a table of the information we're correlating. Um, I did it, I did it. A uh, sorry, a spreadsheet with just five data sets because I remember Ian saying something about that at some point, but when I did it, it just looked rubbish. So I don't know, it must be wrong. I don't know, might need to find out. So we want a correlation of the spreadsheet. Uh, some leaves. We're only doing some leaves right now. So correlating the pattern between how when the sun leaf area increases, its weight increases as well. So when you're copying this information you need to keep it in the same order that it was recorded. So right here we've got our sunleaf area in the squared millimeters. And we'll take be taking N80, the biggest data set. Not all of those. We don't want the average, we don't want the standard deviation. Ignore. Should have done that. Should have done this a second ago, I'll do it in a moment. And paste that over. Make it clear that that's the area. And that this is the weight column. So you need to go in the other tab of your spreadsheet and copy the same column, keep it in the same order. So suddenly fresh weight milligrams. We want all of those. By co I'm copying with Control C. Go back to the original one and I'm pasting with control V. Okay. Making the spreadsheet itself is very, very simple. Um, but something I learned a moment ago is that it's pretty good to insert a couple of zeros. So I want a leaf that is zero big and zero heavy. This will make our trend line look better as it goes through zero. Um, so to do that, I'll just kind of do that again. Select the top two, or do the zeros before you copy and paste them, and then insert and the shift cells down. Do a zero and a zero. Okay. Next thing to do is copy area and weight. Okay. All of those selected. Go to insert scatter and the first scatter crop. You can see on uh, insert scatter crop there. Highlight it. it. says compare pairs of values. Brilliant. Okay. Now that is lovely. Uh, I did one earlier today. It looked rubbish. This looks good. So you got this one zero zero and you got some crazy ones out here and then everything is generally scattered around the same trend. Okay, so we'll just be making the graph look nicer now. We, you select this and just press delete on your keyboard, don't need that. At the bottom we have sunleaf area and squared millimeters. I don't know how to, in Excel, I don't know how to do millimeters and then the little squared sign, so I'm just going to be writing squared millimeters. So you want to go to your chart tools, layout, axis title, horizontal one is the one at the bottom so sun leaf so it's, it's typing up here, don't worry about that area squared millimeters and just press enter lovely so on the vertical axes so axis title primary vertical axis title rotated one sun Title. Um, some of the, the um, chart to show correlation between sun leaf area and fresh weight. Yes. 
don't like tiles being that huge, so I'm just going to make that a bit smaller, like 12, lovely. Okay, uh, I like grid lines as well, so if you click on a number, it has to be a number, it can't be a space between the numbers. I click on a number, add major grid lines, same thing again, add minor grid lines. Then over here we've already got the major grid lines, we just want the minor ones, add minor grid lines, lovely. Okay, next is adding a trend line. Um, I think we'll need the trend line when we are calculating our T tests, maybe the F tests, I don't know. Okay, so probably not F tests, I don't know, we'll see. So in chart tools again, layout, we've got a trend line, and a linear trend line, and there we have it. It's lovely, and it goes through zero. I think that is everything we need to do for correlation, a correlation spreadsheet. Just need to do it again for shade leaves. Okay, thank you. Bye.